Do you want to move like this in Modern Warfare 3? So we're just gonna go ahead and get into the controller settings. One of the most important settings on this list is gonna be your slide slash dive behavior. You're gonna to wanna to put that on slide only. If you put it on tap to slide, you'll have a delay after you slide cancel before you can shoot, which is not a good thing. For plunging underwater, I use free parachute auto deploy off for war zone. So you can lie all the way into the ground and pull your chute right before you hit the ground just to catch people off guard. Sprinting door bash, you want that on. This is gonna allow you to run away through doors a lot quicker. Just like I did in that first clip, I bashed like four or five doors. Ledge climbing behavior, you're gonna want that on movement based. Weapon mount exit delay, you're gonna want off. I have tack stance off because sometimes when you slide, you can go into tack stance, I can throw off your centering. For war zone, you're gonna want prioritize interact on so you can open doors quickly, pick up loot quickly, all that good stuff. You're gonna want armor plate behavior to apply all. I put depleted ammo switch off just so I can run away with the same weapon out and I'll switch weapons if I want to. Another thing that you're going to want on is auto tack sprint. So instead of off or automatic sprint, you're going to want auto tack sprint. So you can start moving a lot quicker and get up to full speed a lot faster than if you had automatic sprint on. Another thing you're going to want grounded mantle off, automatic airborne mantle off, automatic ground and mantle hang off. And that should be it for the controller settings. So we'll just start with the basics here. We're going to start with the slide cancel. In Warzone 1, it was just circle circle. X, but now it's just circle X, you'll get the exact same thing. So what I'll use this for is I'll use this to break opponent's aim assist. Let's find a bot here and catch people off guard, make you a harder target for them to hit. Also what a slide cancel can do, it can reset your sprint to fire time. So if I'm sprinting and I want to fire, that's how much time it takes. But if I slide cancel, it's instant. Another thing that I'll use, see I'm very weak right here, so if this guy chases me like I know he's going to, he can get behind people to slide cancel too. You can slide left, slide right, get behind people. Another thing I want to get into is called the drop shot. In this game it's kind of slow, but if you slide cancel into it and hold back on your left stick, you can get into it fairly quickly. Just like that. Again, hold your crouch to get into a prone after you slide cancel and hold back at the same time. It should look something like this. But yeah, another pro tip, every corner that you go to challenge, you're gonna wanna slide cancel. So here, I can slide, get to cover, and pop back up right when I'm ready to take the fight. Another movement tech that I find super useful is the B-Hop. This has been nerfed in the last couple games, but if you get a little bit of momentum, you can kind of pull it off. Just like that. So basically what you're gonna wanna do with this is right when you hit the ground, as you're going at a sideways angle, you're gonna wanna tap jump right as you hit the ground to keep your momentum going. Another movement tech that I find super useful is the fadeaway slide cancel. So essentially what you're going to want to do is challenge slide cancel and jump right after you slide cancel. So you're going to want to go circle XX. The last movement tech we're going to get into before we get into the video is called snaking. I know you've heard this. I know you've seen it in the CDL if you watch the CDL. I know you've seen it in Warzone. It's probably happened to you a few times. But if you don't know what I'm talking about, you go over to what's called a head glitch. And that's anything that only your head is showing on. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna go prone and tap sprint, 
prone, tap sprint, prone, tap sprint. Just so your head pops up like this. And the whole time that you're doing this, they can't see you and you can see their whole body. Another thing I like to do is call a redirect. You run up on an enemy when they're not expecting you, slide one way, and then slide the other way. Basically, you're baiting them to turn their whole body and commit so you can get behind them. And that's how you see those YY TikTok kids breaking cameras oh all over your free page. Let's not talk about those shots. All right, let's get right into the video. He's like, I'm getting assassinated! His boy turns around and gets shit on too. <laughs> Come on. Is he chasing you, uh, Will? Nice. He's dead here. Maybe not. Plating, plating. Knocked one. Loadout drop headed your way. No way. How the fuck did I just go down? I'm crazy. There were people here though. No way. J man is like no. Damn, that LMG is crazy. <laughs> 